Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is your astrological update for the whole of May 2018. And my goodness, we have something extraordinary happening this month as Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable, is changing. And this hasn't happened for seven years. So it's about to drop a bomb of genius and unpredictability into our life. Here's your monthly astrology. Leo, your career is very much on your mind this month and there are all sorts of strange and wacky opportunities that could come your way. It's an exciting month and this is also the month where we have a new moon and Uranus changing signs in your career energy. I'll get to that in a minute. Let's start at the beginning. And in the beginning on the 6th of May, the sun is sextile Neptune. You have a psychic revelation and possibly a really intense connection with someone connected to your career if you've got a hidden enemy or anyone's not been being straightforward with you you see it and the power dynamics shift hopefully in your favor but you have a sort of psychic sixth sense to things on the sixth a lot of sixes going on there anyway um we also have the sun opposing jupiter on the ninth you're very enthusiastic you want to move you want to change you want to shake things up don't um let your optimism interfere with practical reality make sure that you're not thinking too much too soon and that let's say you want to move house and you see a house and it's a lot more than you were going to spend just make sure all your figures add up because it's a wonderful thing you're feeling bold and you're feeling open and you want change but you know one step at a time with the sun trying pluto on the 12th change is coming anyway but it's confident change you're ready for it you want it with the, the moon is also conjunct Mercury and Uranus in your adventure house. You are feeling bold, you are feeling blatant, you are feeling that you want to be free in some way and you want to explore the world in a new way. There might be a situation or a person going, no, you can't do that or being critical. But overall, I think your passionate spirit will win out, particularly as Mercury is joining forces with Uranus on the 13th. Uh, bringing an adventure to you or somebody m mentioning something or you have a conversation and it's just like wow it could change everything mercury on the same day shifts from your <clears throat> adventure house to your career zone <coughs> excuse me and you are then focusing on talking and sharing <clears throat> and expressing yourself around your career and people are listening to you you've got power in your words when it comes to your career on the 13th. Now the big day of this month, the big kickstart, the big universal kick up the bum for all of us, the big transformation and soul shake up is on the 15th of May where the new moon, which is trying Mars and Pluto, um, is going to shake you up when it comes to your work. And Uranus is entering your, your work, career, and reputation zone. S strange and wondrous and unpredictable events are happening. And um, it's very important that you think out of the box and you surf on the wave of any opportunity that comes your way. It's going to be exciting. Now, you are quite fearless. You're the lion, the lioness, the queen, or king. And so you can handle it. Mars is shifting signs on the 16th. Uh, by the way, Uranus is there for the next seven years, so there's a lot of genius and shifts coming to you in your career. On the 16th, Mars is shifting signs and making you want to bring peace and harmony to your personal relationships. You want to be cosy, you want to be passionate, you want to be intimate and erotic, but you want to be fair. You cannot handle any arguments, and in fact, you will probably bend over backwards to keep the peace, which isn't necessarily always like you. But on this occasion, you're like, no, I need harmony in my life. Um, and it may be that you, you're, gonna, you're really desperately trying to factor in some 
time out to have personal one-to-one -one inter interactions. Venus is shifting signs and making you very romantic, but maybe a little bit unclear when it comes to love. People can really hoodwink you around love after the 19th because you're so open, you've got no boundaries, and you kind of want to believe in the romantic dream and the magic. Yes, you may meet a soulmate, you might plunge into a magical and mystical relationship, but equally be careful that, you know, it's not the emperor's new clothes, there's not someone trying to spin you a line because you just want extra depth. With the sun shifting signs, you work very well in a group and you're very confident as a leader. With the sun trying Mars on the 24th, you know, you should be having a good time. You're socializing, you're out and about, and you're opening up to new experiences with different groups of people. The full moon on the 29th is great. It's a showstopper for you. It's in your joy, happiness. You're very emotional and you are seeking joy and happiness and, and intimacy on that day. If there's anything wrong, if there's anything in your life that's stopping you experiencing joy, you might feel it like really strongly because your heart and your soul is saying, I deserve to be happy. I want to be happy. You're feeling very playful, you're feeling very romantic. You're feeling very open. Anyway, a really interesting month. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Fine the night and carry our prayers to the way Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.